Hello fellow YouTubers, and welcome back to Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney. On the last episode, we headed over to the detention center so we could talk with Lana a little bit, get her side of the story of what happened the day that the Ensel 9 incident happened. Turns out she was the first one on the scene, and shortly afterwards, after they got all the forged evidence that they needed and convicted Dark, that she got promoted to Chief Prosecutor from Detective. Which is kind of weird because, well, I mean, she said she wanted to be a prosecutor, but it's still kind of a big jump in promotion. But on this episode, oh, she also told us that she used to share an office with Gant, and so we were heading over there to go see if we can investigate that crime scene. So on this episode, that's what we're going to try and do. Let's move over to the police department. Uh, yeah. I don't see Detective Gumshoe anywhere. Things seem kind of quiet around here today. Oh, God. Ugh. Ugh. I, uh, let me get a drink of water. Why did that? <laughs> what happened there? You're right. The head of the department seems the same, though. Why don't we go look for some other people to talk to? Right. We can come back here later. So, there's no one here? All right, let's move. We need to find someone to talk to. Howdy, Bambina. Oh, Mr. Marshall! I never thought things turned out this way when I woke up this morning. Okay, Sarah, Sarah. Or right, however that's supposed to be pronounced. You never know what life will lead you, eh, hey, Bambina? I should have known my luck had run out when old Biddy dried up this morning. B Billy? Must be his pet cactus. Aww. Say, where are you headed? I'm just over to the prosecutor's office for a little interrogation. It's a voluntary appearance, but we all know I won't be coming back. Sorry, but you can't go in the evidence room today, partner. But, Mr. Marshall, why did you do it? Why did prospectors head west? If ever there was a case I needed to know the truth about, it was that one. Before you turn yourself in, Mr. Marshall, would you mind telling us exactly what happened? Looks like I will be getting a steak lunch today. Well, it's, it's like, what, four? <laughs> when did the trial end? It's like four o'clock. Kind of past lunch. But, yeah, Marshall's here. Let's talk with him. I mean, he's kind of, he is kind of screwed job-wise. He did stab someone and tried to steal from work. So. Something was fishy about that trial from the beginning. It wasn't just me, either. All the detectives thought so. What do you mean, fishy? Some of the facts reported were inconsistent with the evidence we found. For example, the murder weapon. The murder weapon? You mean that switchblade knife with the broken tip? That was Joe Dark's, all right. But, in the initial autopsy report, a question was raised. A question? The blade of the knife was not a perfect match with the wound the victim sustained. What does that mean? It means there's a good chance that knife was not the murder weapon. However, in the report that was finally submitted, that possibility had been erased. Could the facts have been concealed with forged evidence? No, really, Phoenix. We've only learned that forged evidence really much put Dark in the dark in the electric chair or something. That case left on scars on all of us. The scars that the S9 isn't left behind. All right, well, we'll find out a little bit more about the Scarls, but uh, let's ask him about his brother, because that seems like the smartest thing to do. 
I got the looks, but he got the brains. He was one of the best prosecutors around. I just made detective when it went down. And it was our first case together. How old is he? Your brother. He was 27 at the time. How old is Marshall? 33, so it was his younger brother. <laughs> yeah. He was awarded the highest honor that very day. Wait, so you were, it took you, to, you were 31 to become, process, to become a detective? How old is Gumshoe then? He's 30. How did he make detective before you? The highest honor? You don't mean king of prosecutors. Not that again. What are you looking at me like that for? That's an honor for a prosecutor. Mr. Marshall must have really been close with his brother. The day the SNI incident took place. Oh, God. <clears throat> that wasn't the same day as... That's right. It was the day of the evidence transferal. Interesting. It was drizzling that morning, and by nightfall there was the thunder. There, where was, where did that come from? I can't believe two years have gone by already. How exactly is it interesting that the day that the transfer all happened on the same day? Wasn't that the entire reason that they were transferring the the things that day? Because it was two years. I tried to steal the evidence so the case wouldn't die. Apparently, someone tried to stop you. Detective Goodman was murdered, and the evidence locker was empty. You know, when, when the transfer would have happened, wouldn't that have been, like, the big the big reveal? Or, like, wouldn't that have been enough to get the case reopened? I mean, it's already been reopened. We're already working on it. All right, so let's find out more about the scars. There was something going on by the scenes in that case. We all knew that later. Every detective involved in that investigation, save one, was taken care of. My star was fired, and I was demoted and boxed away in a tiny room. What about Detective Goodman? If that did something to him too, the commissioners would get suspicious. No, they were careful enough not to be too obvious. They? Who are you talking about? Don't get upset, Bambina. I mean Damon Gant and Lana Sky. Uh-oh. Well, we knew that Sky Gant's popping up a lot more. She detected Damon Gant in the second in command, Lana Sky. There wasn't a person on the force who hadn't heard of that duo. That case was the biggest step in both of their careers. After the case ended, Lana transferred to the prosecutor's office, right? Yeah, Damon Gant, the new chief of police, arranged that arranged for that to happen. She's never been the same since she left. Everyone who knew her said so. Chief Prosecutor Sky was totally different than when she was a, a detective. God, I cannot speak! Now that he mentions it, I must have something like that too. Tell me, what happened to my sister? Sorry, Bambina, but her secret is too well guarded. I never found out. When a secret, it all started two years ago. So there you have it. That's my story. Did you enjoy it, partner? It was certainly enlightening. There's one thing for sure I found out in court today.
That boy Edrith isn't my enemy. He was the one who used falsified evidence to get a guilty verdict. But someone else was the one who gave him that evidence and planned everything. That someone is Damon Gant. Don't believe me? Well, I don't blame you. I won't even be a patrolman after today. Too bad I won't be around to work with you. When you become a real scientific investigator. Adios, Bambina. I think that might be the last time we actually talk with Marshall. So, yeah. Well, first things first. We're not done yet. We're going to move back over to the Criminal Affairs Department because of that long talk we just had. Probably past enough time for something to happen. This place is always pretty empty, but today it's deserted. That must mean everyone's busy solving crimes. Oh, if you're looking for the others, they're all in the conference room. Uh, thanks. Wow, he actually talked to us. <laughs> With the chief prosecutor saying what you did and the decision about what to do about Mr. Edwards, not to mention our statement to the media in tomorrow's trial. There's more chaos going on than Thanksgiving and Christmas put together. I think festive is the word usually used for those. <laughs> also, Thanksgiving is this week. I can't wait. Um, sir, we'd like to have a word. We'd, we'd like to have a look around Chief Gant's office. Just head across the hall to the other building and take the elevator to the top floor. Really? You mean it's okay for us to go in there? I mean, we aren't police officers or anything. Uh, hey, you're right! You can't go in there, it's off limits! Now I see where Detective Gumshoe gets his unique charm. Well, what are we waiting for? Let's head to the Chief's process! Oh, got it, I thought you was gonna say room. And thanks to the Chief, thanks to the, uh... Thanks to the, uh... Thanks to the Chief Detective here, he told us everything we wanted to know. This guy had the same... Gant had the same job this guy had two years ago? And th this is what it's been re resolved to? Huh. Well, I think about those over this episode. On the next episode of Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney, we will be heading up to Gant's office, and we will be trying to, st and we will be examining everything that we possibly can. So, until next time, hopefully you enjoy. What, is, what does that mean? I tried moving this thing. Also, I didn't have to do anything! Are you kidding me? I could have just simply went up to this thing, not done anything at all, and then retalked him again? <laughs> I wonder how many people have commented about that already. It's like, you know, I could just simply talk to Phil, and you don't have to get the yellow trinity move. I hate everything. <laughs>